Good morning, everybody. This is Dawn Bennett with Touch Remedies coming to you with another Touch Conversation as I prepare to launch my new book, The Touch Crisis, which is coming September 1st, 2020. <laughs> I am super, super excited to talk with Stacey Cunningham today. She's an insurance agent out in Colorado, but her passion is the company she created called Fearless Pajamas. This company was created out of her own person, out of a personal trauma that happened to her family. And what she does is she teaches and empowers women to conquer their fears. And she's going to talk to us today about some of her stories about Baca and fearless pajamas and touch and everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. So Stacy, why don't you tell me the story about fearless pajamas and how it got started? Well, you know, it's interesting is like I went through this, this journey about a two year journey and net women networking were always a part of my life. We're actually a part of the history of this trauma because it brought me out and it got me to be with other women and have those connections when I was going through something really kind of horrible. And you know, being, being in that environment, I got to do a lot of meetings and there was one meeting in particular where there was 50 women in the, in the room. Mm -hmm. We all got to go around and introduce ourselves and the particular networking group is called Polka Dot Powerhouse. They uh, got to stand up and say why they were a polka dot and what they loved about it and also what they were working on. And I happened to be one of the last tables to go and I had all my answers written out. I was saying I was going to work on my health because uh, I had just gotten a diabetes uh, diagnosis um, two months earlier. So I was going to talk about that. But something changed as these women got up and shared. It was touching, but it was also like they were very uncomfortable speaking. There were some tears. Uh, we were just in this safe place. It felt really good you know, that these people were my tribe. And I felt like they all needed this workshop I used, to, I went to back in California called How to Become Comfortable with the Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, these women need this, this, this uh, workshop, you know? And then I started thinking, well, why couldn't I talk about that? You know, I, I went through it. I could, I could totally teach people. And then I had this vision of me on stage in this, polka dot onesie soft pajama thing speaking on stage and I thought what in the world is going on <laughs> so by the time I got to me I stood up and said I am going to be a public speaker and I'm going to speak at celebration at our annual convention and everybody just kind of looked at me like wait a minute isn't she an insurance agent what the you know <laughs> and so after that there was a happy hour and I went to the founder uh, Shannon, you know, cause that was the meeting that we were at and I was like so excited and I almost like shook her and like, do you want to hear my idea? And she's like, Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, go ahead. And I'm like, how to become comfortable with the uncomfortable. And she just kind of looked at me and shook her head and she said, well, that was done two years ago. And my face fell. Mm -hmm. And I thought I had this brilliant idea <laughs> and I just left, you know? So she goes, but but we, we all need to hear this. We all need this lesson. This is very important. So just reword it. So I went home thinking about this and thought, you know what? Pajamas are comfortable. So what's uncomfortable? Well, fear. Fear is uncomfortable. Okay, I got it. I am fearless, but only in my pajamas. So when you're at home, comfy pajamas, you're like building up your courage. Then you go take your pajamas off, you go outside and what happens? All the fear and the worry and the doubt come in. And I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So when I wrote that message back to Shannon, she wrote back and said, I love it. Fearless pajamas, get me some. <laughs> and I thought, oh, it's just fearless pajamas. <laughs> and then right at that time, I was approached to write a, story, write a chapter in a woman's anthology book called Ready to Fly. It was volume two. Several women, other dots were in this book kind of about hope, you know, tragedy to triumph. And my story of what unfolded a couple of years ago, you know, I was, I was coached to, to write it. And so that I literally started writing it about two months after that. Mm -hmm. So I was creating this company, this presentation, speaking, 
then I created a product because soft touch textile like soothing it you know material like pajamas and blankets started coming to me like we, I need to have something like an anxiety tool like a rabbit's foot that you can touch mm -hmm. that will help you calm down within seconds mm -hmm. and so there's a story re in regards to blanket because my youngest daughter had a security blanket as a child and, and and all and both of my kids did so you know stuffed animals and blankets and stuff like that you feel that touch and you just have this calm you know you, you know kids stop crying or you just start breathing slower it's just this calming effect that i wanted to create for everyone for adults for kids for teens you know something that they can call their own mm -hmm. and i've learned a lot about textile therapy and how touch is cathartic it is something that we all crave you know in some form and so my daughter and my family were 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 impacted by bikers against child abuse which is baca and they inducted my daughter into their family and they we did a whole ceremony out in our cul-de-sac and you know their motto is no child deserves to live in fear mm -hmm. And they presented her with a backpack and her own little jacket, but they also had this blanket. It was this, um, you know, big full on blank, you know, blanket that throw that you put on your bed. And what they did is they put it against their chest and they formed a circle around my daughter and they each hugged each other with this blanket in between. And then they took the blanket to the next two and they hugged each other and they took it to the next two. They hugged each other. It went around in a circle of at least 20 bikers around her. And then they presented it to her and said, this is full of Baca hugs. This will protect you. Sleep with this at night and you will have be safe. You will have no nightmares. I mean, she was just, it was the one of the most touching, you know, Part, it was it was amazing. So at that point, I created a idea where I would have one side as a blanket, so something you can really touch and it's just very comforting, and on the other side have an affirmation that you can look at and say, you know, this is my warrior blanket. It gives me comfort and courage to overcome any obstacle. I am fierce. And you can just repeat that and hold it. It's one of these, it's really squishy. And you can also spray lavender, you know, on one side and, you know, just really smell it as well. So I was so excited about this idea. And I never, you know what, I never considered myself creative, mm -hmm. you know, because I felt like, well, I don't know how to draw. Like, right. you know, one of the things, you know, I'm thinking creativity as an artist. But right. ideas, you know, when I, like, I can't believe that I came up with this. This is just kind of crazy. And, you know, I, I got, uh, you know, manufacturing together and created three different colors. You know, of course, I had to have pink and orange, pink, orange. And then I, I the third color is like a navy blue. So for the boys, you know, that's, so it's kind of manly. But then I realized that the blue and the orange were like Bronco colors because I'm from Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so yeah, and I've gotten, you know, since this, it hasn't been very long, but I've gotten some testimonials from parents that they had given their, these to their kids, their teenagers. One in particular said that he, that she has a boy who was 10 years old and he slept with it under his pillow. And that he said it helped him with his, with his nightmares. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, so I just, I am so overwhelmed by, you know, this whole experience and it really centers around touch. Right. right. Especially having that access of loving touch without necessarily another human there, right? Exactly. Feeling that connection to oneself, to other people, even without, even when one's alone. Yeah, and I think with COVID and everything that's happening now, that's more important than ever because you can internalize, you know, self-love, you know, and, and turn it within and, you know, with, with this touch. And you know how you can go outside and lay on grass and put your fingers, you know, through the grass. Mm -hmm. 
And that's really comforting too, because you're out in nature, you know, you're feeling, you know, nature's soft, you're just feeling grounded and connected with earth. You know, and if you're spiritual, you know, it could be God, it could be anything that can, can help you do that connection. So I think um, the timing of this could not be more perfect. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much. Any last comments that you want to share? Well, I, I guess I would just remind everyone that they have the power, like the power of the human spirit is limitless. Everyone has that power, but sometimes they need a little help. Sometimes they need a tool, like when I, when I created the warrior blanket, but then it doesn't have to be a product. It can be anything in regards to touch, but you can just, you know, take some deep breaths. I talk about humming therapy, hum your favorite tune, you know, like the ohm, you know, so you can, you can incorporate all your senses and really feel like, you know, my, my fearless pajamas is like a protection layer. You know, you can peel off your metaphorical fearless pajamas and still be fearless. And so I just want to um, embark that on everyone out there because you do have that power and just lift yourselves up and, and go out there and touch something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Go hug a tree, be in the grass, get your blood. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Well, thank you. Do you want to mention how they can get a hold of you, Stacey? I will have everything, of course, down in the comment box here on YouTube as well. But yeah, so yeah. I, well, I created re recently my uh, Fearless Pajamas website, so fearlesspajamas.com. What's great about that is it talks about how I came up, you know, with Fearless Pajamas, what it is. It talks about the book. It talks about the warrior blanket and also a lot of testimonials from either my speaking presentation, the book, or the blanket. And so it's very uplifting. I, it's fun. It's got a lot of polka dots everywhere, <laughs> a lot of colors, you know, so that's, you know, I'm really kind of promoting that, not just because it's a business, but because I think it really does make people feel good when they, when they get to see that visual, you know? Lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Stacey. It was so nice chatting with you again.